I'm not in. Well, I'm in, but I'm busy doing absolutely nothing abnormal. Still there? Go away. Unless... Yeah. How would you like to assist in this century's most important scientific experiment? Very, very important stuff. All you have to do is collect a few precious bits of cork. What I meant to say is, some totally above board and non-creepy gathering of various anatomical specimens. Hey, you're not here to dump anything in the old part of the graveyard, are you? People think it's some sort of tip. Oh, good, good. Your first, um, scientific expedition is to Rookridge. There should be a fine body part hidden away in a cave there. Good luck. Welcome to, I guess, a little bit of Necro and Necro. Oh, jeez, that's loud. Oh, wow, that was... A that was really loud in my ear just now. Like, louder than it has ever been. So, um, I guess a bit of Frankenstein's story here. He is going to bring the dead back to life, but also a bit of necrophilia. Wow, that's a strong gun. You know, I'll, I'll keep this gun for a while. I think this is better than the other gun. I unfortunately don't have... Oh, I just blew the experience right out of him. Unfortunately, doesn't have the um, the health gaining bonus, but I think I'll be able to take them out before I get hit too much. And if I do get hurt, you know, I do have plenty of health potions, but I also have my sword, which has health regen on it. If I ever need it. Plus, I can sleep. There's, there's plenty of ways for me to regen my health. Oh my gosh, it's laggy. Boom. You're not dead yet. Are you leading me to the dick spot, or are you saying there's dick spots all around me? Because this place I came across pretty early on in the game, so it's possible that there's higher level dick spots that I missed. But... Oh. Also, this gun's pretty strong. It takes out most of these guys in one hit. One or two hits. Hot oh, dang. Don't do that fart noise at me. Very immature of you, Mr. Hob. Even though you're technically, like, a converted child. You know what? Well, let's not talk about it. Alright, let's talk about it. Wow, Hob, really? How rude. In the words of a young child from an, a 90s sitcom, how rude. Kudos if you understand the reference. Only 90s kids remember it. Jeez. Uh, I think we're there. I'm not sure how long this quest will be. It might be a bit of a longer episode, considering there's a quest that gets unlocked after this one that I'd like to accomplish. Eh, maybe. Uh, probably not. Uh, if it is in two parts, I'll probably release them both separate. Lady Grey? Look at those thighs. Mmm. Damn, girl. The Witch Spotters of Albion did bury the lower limb of one Lady Grey, former Mayor of Bowerstone, and certified enchantress and seductress. We lost two of our members to surprise hob attacks as we explored the deepest blah 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 the names of these birds. Huh. We, um... Interesting, we, we... Coming through this area before, we never, uh... Actually, what am I doing? I just teleport there. Save some time. We, unknowingly came across several parts of Lady Grey's body throughout the game and have not rec have not uh, realized it. I, in fact, haven't realized it until I started to record this part for this quest. A bit awkward, a bit odd, but... It's her. 
It's really, really her. I might as well tell you the truth now. I'm not just advancing the cause of science, you see. I'm, I'm advancing the cause of love. This, this is Lady Grey. Well, a bit of her anyway. She lived a long time ago, an awful, barbaric time, and she was the mayor of Bowerstone. Some people, well, they didn't like her very much. Couldn't see what a wonderful person she really was. They called her a witch. And, well, they chopped off her head. Then they buried her body in three different places. But let's not waste time on such awful tales. The second part of her is hidden in a tomb between Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh. Please find it. Can do, buckaroo. So I don't think I have the place unlocked, so I'm just going to travel to Wraith March and to the well. I think the well's in a decent spot in between. Notice how the map kind of looks like Europe? Not quite where I wanted to go. Uh oh, come on. Uh oh. Something wicked this way comes. Which way do I need to go? Come on, map. Nowhere. I can hate how long it takes for the quest thing to update. So we need to go to an ancient tomb of an ancient hero. Uh, which is... Is it this? No, it's not. I didn't think so. That was for another quest. One of the story... The, the next story quest, actually. Uh... Which I've been avoiding because after that story quest, we have to complete the whole story, the rest of the main story, all the way through without stopping for side quest. My original plan was to do a part or two of side quest and then I'm going the right way. Yeah, uh, an episode or two of side quest, story, little side quest, story, little side quest. But uh, turns out <laughs> there is not much story left and. After this next bit of story, we have to go through all of the main story. Still plenty of this game left, don't worry. Uh, I mean, the side quests are cool, though, right? And plus we have the DLCs. Uh, I think the... there. I think there are some side quests that unlock after completing the main story. And I know I'm going to save one of them for later. Uh, just because it requires a certain place that I can't get access to until I complete it. one of the next story quests, I think. And, you know, <laughs> gotta complete them all at that point. Come on, show me show me the place. I don't want to fight dudes. I... What? He just collapsed. Interesting. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Oh, no, maybe I could have just teleported a little closer. <laughs> oh, well. It's a little uh, a fun uh, panic run through the swamp, through old Oakville. Uh, oh, here we are, finally. Whew. Oh, jeez. Just dodge everything and go into this tomb. Tomb of who, you may ask? Well, I guess I'll have to fight everybody in the world before I can go here. Oh, wow. Shotgun zombies. I forgot how fun that is. Twin blade. I wonder if the the guys in here... Well, clearly the, the Wisps are taking over corpses. And I wonder if the corpses in here are loyal servants of Twinblade. We're in Twinblade's uh, place, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Gotta do this a couple times. Oh, don't... Don't... No, don't reset. Oh, jeez. 
So Twin Blade, if you haven't uh, paid attention to the first game, was somebody who went to the Heroes Guild. He, the Heroes Guild, uh, trained people who had, who were in tune with one of the three attributes of of hero skills. Uh, they were either strong in strength, skill, or will, and sometimes multiple of those. And Twin Blade was definitely strong in strength. And because because he was so strong, they trained him. What does that do? Is that no? Huh? Oh, that oh what? This is oh that must okay. <laughs> yeah, Twin Blade was strong in strength because it was such a strong fearsome foe. He oh okay. He uh yeah he was part of the part of the guild. But eventually left the guild because he to to become a bandit, and he became he, he was one of the greatest heroes of the Heroes Guild, and became one of the greatest bandits in history. Hence, having his own giant tomb. Uh, he fought the main hero in the first game, and depending on your choices, was killed or spared by him. I think sp spared is canon. Oh, dude, this guy. Yeah. We haven't uh, played around with this guy, but we have to reenact um, a thing. I don't know if I have this one. This is the chicken dance, but... I don't know, let's explore. Yeah, Twin Blade, a uh, great hero, turned great villain. In the first game, he rescued Theresa, Theresa. And she became the blind seer, 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 something. She basically helped him with her uh, her uh, premonition powers. Something's got electricity powers here. And uh, yeah, he's he's great here. He did he did cool things. That's pretty much all you need to know. Does that open the door? Or does it give me the ability to open the door? Or does it open the other door on the other side? This place is. Bit of a fullness. Oh, I can't do the chicken dance now. Apparently, huh? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, it didn't work because I wasn't okay. Here we go. I did it. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. I have most of the emotions, so I should be able to take care. I think there's one other, only one other statue like that in the game. And, yeah. You know, it makes sense... Oh, nice. It makes sense for there not to be uh, a, a Will version of that, of those things, because he was never strong in the Will. I mean, range you can do with a bow and arrow. Oh, nice. But... Our, our friend, Mr... Uh, oh, jeez. Let me slow down time here a little bit. If I had fire powers, it's, these guys are weak to it, so that would have been good. But a little bit of powerful ranged works. A little extra damage. Eh, it doesn't really go well. Alright, time to regain some of my health back. There, I'm done. Okay, you know what? Sword time, baby. I don't remember what all Twin Blade did after he, he after the first game. I think he did some cool things. Oh, that is a flint lock. Haha! -ha, sweet gargles. I I wonder like who put these in here? I wonder if, if Teresa Theresa did that. I could imagine she'd be the one to do that. Open please. What? Uh oh. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. That that's cause that was the way to open it and uh oh. Whoa! Fire Come on. Press it. I mean, I had to at this point, right? I kind of wish you, you could... Oh, yeah. I kind of wish you could alter the augments on legendary weapons. Oh. I see a Scottish thing. Because uh, I would take all bark skin on this and put, like, health charm. And then I could, like, never stop using this. Hey, silver key. Let me just collect that real fast. The sweet Medusa statue. Apparently Medusa is a thing in this game. 
or in the lore of this world. Jeez, these guys are strong. Mind you, this is a... Oh, he summons lightning from the undead. That's cool. I guess it would make sense if if you were undead that you'd have the ability to channel will to a point. Ah, that must be the way out. Being that... Ooh, Lady Grey's... Ooh, oh, what? Uh, no, more fitting tomb. Cool. Can I loot uh, his corpse? Is there anything cool here? Oh, I can totally search it. Sweet, give me some good loot. Why am I opening from that side? Not the other side. Oh, okay. Ooh, silver key. There you are. Remains of him, at least. Oh, cool. Secret, uh... Secret chest. If this was a Dark Souls, I'd put a sign down that says, Amazing chest ahead. <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't put it over here. I'd put it over here. <laughs> Get it? Because it's boobs. Uh, Dark Souls is a fun game. If you get the chance to check it out, I would at least watch it. If you can. No, it's, not, it's not a game for everybody, I'll, I'll admit. Not everybody can be as impressive and skillful as I can be. Several silver keys, nice. Good to keep in mind. Um, ah, game pause, come on. I'm just gonna leave and teleport back to the mansion. Look how much we're now. This, it's implied, I guess, that you can do the uh, snow globe, the DLC story stuff early on in the game, which I guess makes sense. Well, yeah, for this because not whole glades. There's like three big story quests there, and they unlock as you progress through the main story. Like, you have to, you, you, can, you can't unlock the second one until, like, after the spire or something, and then the third one until whenever, but, I mean, yeah, it's the same for both of these. I kind of like just doing them after the story, because then I can go through, run through them all. It's just, see how 150 Renown, back in the beginning of the game, it's like, oh, wow, that's quite a bit, and then now it's like 8,000, it's like, oh, this is more than, than finding the pirate's treasure, which, I, finding the, the legendary pirate's treasure, I guess isn't as impressive as bringing the dead back to life. Or helping, at least. Yeah, I guess that's that's kind of fair. I mean, we are going against the basic rules of nature here. Oh, wonderful. Yes. My poor Lady Grey. What did they do to you? At least your parts ended up in cool, dry places. Oh, right, yes. Thank you so much. You're probably the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. Pathetic, isn't it? There's... There's only one more part of her left to find. And it's in a vault somewhere in Fairfax Gardens. I'm sure you'll find the right tomb. I'd come with you, but, well, I try not to go out too much. I might run into people. Fair enough, man. I've been there. So, I guess you could kind of analyze this... What? Oh, whatever. It's in Fairfax Garden. I just have to travel there. You can kind of analyze this part of this, this quest a little bit to kind of show how... To, to kind of get an example of how this game thinks of the, its quest. In a normal game that really tries to pad out stuff, this would be, like, you would have to get both legs, both arms, the main torso, and the head. There'd be five parts compared to the three here, which three makes sense, because, you know, bottom half, top half, head. Fair enough. But in, in, in almost any other game that doesn't care at, as much, it would definitely be five whole parts. Oh, I can't go in here. This isn't... No. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, what's this over here? Uh-oh, look at that. That doesn't look right. That looks like a bit of an issue. Lady Grey's Tomb. I don't think this tomb's that bad. I don't think it's as... Uh, Deep and extravagant as. 
Huh. As... The other guys is... Wow, this place is like... A desert. This place is like a dessert. Now, who is that, I wonder? That's probably like... One of the witch blade dudes. Witch blade. One of the witch hunter guys. It's like, oh, I'm watching over her even in death to make sure she doesn't rise and become evil and stuff. Hey, girl. How you doing? Yeah, you're gross. Not bad looking considering it's 500 years old, I guess. All oh, those beautiful eyes stared at us as we condemned them to the eternal of this hollowed underground chamber that was... That she had the tune's name after herself. Clicking, echoing all around us. Dear Avo, I hope it's not Beatles. Beatles? Literally like the first enemy I fight in the game? Oh no. I hope it's not Beatles. I... Like, really? Beatles are... Look look how much experience they're giving me. You can tell by the size. Uh, scale and stuff. They're super weak. They're, they're not... Like, you guys took down her, which I imagine was a bit of a battle. You, you guys only lost three dudes to undead. And you guys are like, oh, I hope beetles aren't trying to attack me. Please. Was there a treasure around here? Fucking mounds of sand. It's a, it's a, a, for, a, a reference to the third game. There's a part in the third game that I really do enjoy, though. Where you, uh, whatever, you're not worth my time. Literally not worth my time. Uh, I can I can literally turn my time into experience because every five minutes I get like twelve thousand gold and I can buy several thousands of experience with that gold. And the experience you give me for fighting you, sure it only takes like a minute or so. It's not worth it. In the time it takes for me to fight you guys, I can get several times more experience just from the gold I'm getting in. It's fun, you know, being able to do that. A little bit of a uh, knowledge smart things there. I don't know what I'm saying half the time, I'll be honest with you. So you need a special switch to open it, and you can only go through the, the insides and stuff. But like, a oh, 100 gold, are you kidding me? You can easily climb or, like, break down the gates there. Not really... Not really a big deal there, guy. What am I doing? Let's fast travel through the quest. Oh, uh, this quest is almost over. Don't worry. We're almost there. I need to hope it opens soon, because I gotta go. I'm down in the basement. Everything's ready. Boy, when he resurrects her, is he going to be in for a surprise on how ugly she is? I'm going to have to put a, a, a something on her face. I'm going to give a little bit of butterface, put a bag over her face. Oh, at last. I never thought this day would come, my sweet lady. You must think I'm some sort of pervert. A real creep. Well, I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Dark brooding thoughts. Oh, such an edgelord this man is. Only the loves various brooding thoughts of those in the unrelated. Here, both the house by the cemetery and the job that came with it. Interesting. As well as the stigma that made him an outsider. since I found a picture of her. She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. And now you're wondering how such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. You see, this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue, it's also 
a love spell. Oh, we'll be so happy. I'll take care of her forever. Just like she deserves. Stand back! It's time! alive oh my sweet lady how do you feel you you brought me back you are magnificent well you know actually it was it was me who I have been asleep so long but now I am ready to live again and to love for the first time you are so perfect Oh no! The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she... You've got to go! Now! I thought my heart had died long before I did. But it seems now that it is true. Come on, you have to leave. Please! She and I are meant for each other. Oh, I hadn't noticed you before. Odd little man. And yet, I find you strangely alluring. My sweet lady, I promise to take care of you always. Fortunately, that quest took a little bit longer than I'd like. Yeah, yeah Rod of Life. We basically brought back the dead. And hey, we can buy this place. But it kind of leads to a bit of another mission that I'll save for next time. It's okay, Poochie. We're going to be safe now. We're... Lady Grey can't hurt you. I don't know I don't know what happened to him. I'm sure I'm, they probably moved off somewhere to be alone or whatever. But hey, I can buy the mansion now. Cool, I've always wanted a, a mansion in the graveyard. On the plus side, it's a pretty cool place, and hey, what a mansion.